In this video, we're going to find the equation of a tangent line for the function the square root of x plus 3 at the point 1, 2. So first of all, I'm going to label this as my x and y of the point. We have three steps to find the equation of a tangent line. And our first step is going to be to find m, which is going to mean taking the derivative and plugging in the x value of the point that we're given. So f prime of 1 in this case. Our second step is going to be to find b. And we're going to write out y equals mx plus b to do that. And our third step is to write the equation. So we're going to have a y equals, and remember, to write out our final answer for full credit. So let's get started with this one. We want to take the derivative of the square root of x plus 3. So we have a square root, which is going to be rewritten as a 1 half power in order for us to take the derivative. So I have f of x is x plus 3 to the 1 half power. And I want to take the derivative of this. If it was just x to a 1 half power, it would be bring down the power, subtract from the new power. This is more than just x raised to a power, though. So this is our chain rule, the one that's hard to recognize, but one of the shorter of the long rules. So we have more than just x raised to a power. We're going to apply the chain rule here to take the derivative of it. So the only way to make finding an equation of a tangent line harder is to have a harder derivative. So we're going to bring down this power, 1 half, and subtract 1 for the new power. 1 half minus 1. 1 half minus 1 is subtracting 2 halves. So 1 minus 2 is going to give us a negative 1 half power. You could use your calculator for that if you need to. 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So you bring down the power, subtract one for the new power. You get the original piece on the inside here. And the last part of the chain rule is multiplying by the derivative of the original inside here. So I'm looking at the original inside. Derivative of 1x is 1. And the derivative of 3, that's a constant, so its derivative is 0. So bring down the power, subtract one for the new power, put the original on the inside still and then multiply by the derivative of the inside at the end, which the derivative of the inside is just 1. Because the derivative of 1x is 1. So you could leave it just like this and plug in your x value if you want to. You could rewrite it to put um, that negative 1 half in the denominator. So we want to take f prime of 1, though. So how you could plug this into your calculator would just be 1 half most fractions need to be in parentheses for most calculators. And then we just want to plug in 1 for x. So you're going to have 1 plus 3 to the negative 1 half. Or you could just type it in as 4 to the negative 1 half. And you could multiply by 1 at the end, but you really don't have to because multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So you have 1 half times 4 in parentheses to the negative 1 half. Or if you want to rewrite it with the negative in the denominator, you could do the 1 half and then do the 1 half. That's a negative power in the denominator and plug it into that. Most people don't like using algebra to rewrite, but if it helps you, you could. Um, that negative exponent puts it in the denominator as a 1 half power, which is the same thing as the square root. So either way, however you want to plug in, you get 1 over 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3 is 4. So... No matter how you plug it into your calculator, you are going to get that the slope is 1 fourth, however you want to plug it in. So our slope of the tangent line is 1 fourth, and now we're going to use that to plug in to this equation here, our y equals mx plus b. So the y value of the point, the point is 1, 2. The y value of that is 2 then. Our slope that we just found is 1 fourth. Again, I'll leave it as a fraction just because um, some fractions don't terminate when they're decimals. This one does. It'd just be 0.25, but just in case you come across one that's like 1 sixth or something like that and it doesn't terminate, you'd want to be able to do it as a fraction. So 2 equals 1 fourth, our slope, times the x value of the point is 1 plus b. 
So you get two equals, you have to multiply this together first. One fourth times one is just gonna be one fourth plus b. And so I wanna get b by itself, so I'm gonna subtract one fourth from both sides. I could use my calculator two minus one fourth, and if it's a graphing calculator, hit math, enter, enter, and it'll go back to a fraction. Or F arrow D on a scientific calculator. Just doing 2 minus 1 fourth. Or you can switch it. 2 is really the same thing as 8 over 4. There's my 2 minus 1 fourth is going to give me 7 fourths as my B. 2 minus 1 fourth gives me 7 fourths for my Y intercept. So my final answer is Y equals MX plus P. Y equals 1 fourth X plus seven fourths has my final answer. So our three steps take the derivative. This one was a hard derivative because it was a chain rule. But then we just plug in the x value either into the regular form of the derivative or you could do a simplified form if you wanted, whatever is easier for you to plug into on your calculator. Find b by plugging in y, m, and x, and then solving for b and writing your final equation out in a y equals mx plus b form.